Time for us to talk about this year's Joy Beauty and Bridal Fair. It opens tomorrow, Thursday. And we're asking that if you're planning your wedding, if you're thinking about it, if you want to see variety, choice, uh, promotional packages, then be with us at the Accra International Conference Centre. But we are all excited because this year is super different. Everyone's favourite actor, uh, Ajete Anand, a.k.a. Pusha, and his beautiful wife, Elom, are on the Joy Beauty and Bride Offer this year. And they will tell you exactly why they are on this bill and what they will be doing. I want to say good morning to you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for being here. Pleasure. You've been married 12 years. Uh, and I remember reading a post about the 12 lessons that you've learnt uh, when you started off. You're, you're not clueless now, are you? <laughs> oh, no, not. A little um, I mean, yeah, yeah, much, much better than then. She beginning. said a little better. <laughs> okay, so it gets yeah. better. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I want you to take us through the lessons because it's good. I mean, I've done this for nine years oh, okay. and it's still Charlie sometimes. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Uh, marriage is different from, for all of us. Mm -hmm. Experiences are different. Yeah. But you did indicate in that post that there are some common things that we all experience somehow. Yeah. So what lessons have you learned? <laughs> Well, I mean, if for me especially, I think that um, one of the lessons that I've learned is that I've come to realize that trust is end, it's not automatic, mm. you know, um, especially, you know, guys, you know, there's a tendency for us to move on immediately after something happens and we will not really get to the roots of the issue. And, and, ah, and so you know that one? Oh yeah, I do. Ah, I mean. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've learned the hard way, even though it, 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 it took a while for me to come to terms with that but mm -hmm. uh, you know um, I learned that you have to work on it you have to address the issue and make sure that you know it's not repeated as much as possible yeah, yeah so I watched Uncle, Uncle Boy's latest play oh, and if yeah. you haven't watched it I would love to watch. get your ticket to watch oh, it, watch it. Uh, uh, I want, I your, want wife. your wife yeah. and some of the things I think the women in the audience like everybody was laughing because we could relate That's yeah. right. something small happens and then the argument takes it to another level and yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I realized that everybody experiences That's it. Right. But for us women, somebody was asking me, ah, so you women, you know. Mm. <laughs> so why do you pull it? <laughs> Is it the same for you in terms of the lessons? Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I don't think um, from, from the play. OK, so I watched, we watched the play and we loved oh, it. Oh, you watched that? Yeah, 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 yeah. OK, yeah. nice. We watched it on Sunday. Um, so I mean, I think um, I watched um, the wife, I've forgotten her name. Um, how she was like dragging issues and exaggerating. Um, I think I do that sometimes. <laughs> I think I do, but sometimes it's not deliberate. Yeah. It's not because you want to just frustrate him. It's True. because you want the thing to be dealt with. I mean, it's, it's difficult when there's an issue. And I mean, sometimes one of the biggest fights we've had is that something happened and I related to something that happened before and something that happened before. And he says, but there are different things. And I say, but the, 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 the issue or the thing that is causing you to do those different, seemingly different things is the same thing. Yeah. You know, it's either lack of yeah. attention to detail mm. or, or mm -hmm. certain, you know, other things that definitely is a thread. So it, the fact that you think that this is different, it's at a different time, it it's not, doesn't mean it's isolated. Yeah. So yeah. then it seems like I'm, 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 you know, linking a chain of events. Mm. But I, that's not the intention. It's not the intent, no. But the, but the other times I'm totally quiet. And I know he doesn't like those times. Because ah. then he doesn't have any idea what I'm thinking. I mean, there are times when I feel, okay, maybe I've spoken too much about this. Let me just be quiet. Yeah. And so my, my um, approach then is... Um, let me search myself and find out if there's a different way I can handle this issue. Okay. And so then he thinks maybe I'm just being, um, I'm just giving my silent treatment, but yeah. maybe that's not really the, mm -hmm. the intention. But I think it changes, you know, every situation comes with a different challenge yeah. and yeah. You, you, you adapt and then you learn more about yourself and um, it gets better. Yeah. Uh, you know, that yeah. what you just described, I think it also comes with maturity because mm -hmm. I think you mature into the marriage and you, some of the things that you used to do, automatically kind of like move because you're learning, yes. unless you don't yes. want to grow. Yes. So lesson number one, lesson number two? Um, well, you we know, started from 12. Yeah. We did. <laughs> so, so, okay, so the other thing is um, being able to do, um, you know, domestic chores. And, you know, where... I say, so you help out? Which he got yeah. for. <laughs> but he didn't, it didn't start off like that. 
or it's always, oh, it's always been. It's always been. It's yeah, always been from day one. Um, yeah. You know, my attitude is that look, we're it's our home, and we shouldn't really demarcate that. Oh, this is your assignment. This is my job. This okay. is what I should do. The the work has to be done, mm. you know. And so when I and I said that when I come home sometimes and I find that um, there are dishes in the sink. I just, I just do it. I don't want to say, oh, she'll come and do it, or she has to do it. And because at the end of the day, I want to see a, a, a pretty looking kitchen, yeah. you know, um, dishes not all over the place and mm -hmm. messy. Um, that, 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 that gives me, a, that's what I want to come to home to. So okay. if, if that is there, why don't I do it? Yeah. And, and, and not just that, other things like helping out with this, our son, uh, with his homework, or bathing him, make, putting him to bed when she has to stay late at work, etc. So. Um, it's some of the things that, have, that has come naturally to me, but it took a conscious effort that, look, this is what I want my, my home to be like. Mm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and Elam, I know that some people are not very uh, comfortable with the man helping out with everything, mm. but you're... Oh, some ladies did are they, not? Yeah. Really? Did they take, did they take <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey, I, well, I mean... It's it's a blessing. I mean, I can't be, I can't do it a lot of times. But I'm sure you've heard other people say, "Oh, me, my husband doesn't do anything." Yes, I've heard lots of people yeah. say that, and I, I'm sad when I hear that because, I mean, I think um, in this world where all of us are working, sometimes I, most of the time I get home later than he does. So if everything is waiting for me to do, then it doesn't get done. Mm. And so he, mm -hmm. I mean, I, his, um, his upbringing, everybody does everything at home, really. So okay. why, why? So you didn't you set that rule at the beginning of the marriage? Um, no. The only rule we set at the beginning of the marriage was transparency with our phones. Ah. <laughs> that was the only rule. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but okay. apart from yeah. that, we just kind of, you know, learned to adapt to things going um, Is the phone thing still same after 12 years? Yes, yes, So yes. what, he, he can take your phone, password, you can I don't take have a password. Phone, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, but he's on the screens. You stopped being on the screens, mm -hmm. like, many years ago. Mm -hmm. People would send him messages that um, you can't control what people decide oh, yeah, to no, send no. you. Mm -hmm. When you see those messages, how does it make you feel? If they are just... <laughs> 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 so if they are just messages that um, you can tell, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, lady, I'm sure you can tell. Charlie, some people you are very crafty, yeah? You can tell. Yeah. They will make it look like Sometimes. the conversation has been ongoing for a while. No, but you, you think, think, the, the, you the think that's what the ladies that, do? And, and <laughs> the, the, you know, there are times where people have sent me messages where I haven't read into it because maybe I'm, I'm too naive. And she would raise all the red flags and say, <laughs> okay, this is not as, you know, cool as... As that's a is. woman's thing, yeah? You know, and I'm like, okay, really? And then before we realize, oh, <laughs> what you said is true. You know, and, and so, um, yeah, like you said, you can't control what people would, would send or what mm. they'll say, but you can control how you respond and react to it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so can we select maybe two more of the lessons? Um, okay. okay. So another one that we said was that we, I mean, learn to enjoy each other's company. I mean, sometimes it gets boring, really. After being together for so long, it gets boring. It gets um, monotonous, mm. the same person. And especially um, for both of us at the beginning of um, our marriage, um, I just say he's a bit of, um, I don't know what else called an introvert, but he's, he's not very um, expressive, you know, with words. So it was difficult. And I like talking, I like chatting, I like, you know, having conversations about everything yeah. that happens in my life. So it was difficult. So one of the things we said was that we learned to um, share each other's interests. Mm. He loves tennis. I never knew anything about tennis till I met him. I mean, I just heard <laughs> some players' names. But so I decided to consciously enjoy tennis. Okay. And then I started to love it. I mean, it was not just, you know, I wasn't just faking it. Mm. And then he also um, started to adapt to going out shopping and okay. um, sometimes just window shopping. We'll walk through the malls for hours and just look at everything and talk about everything and sit and have ice cream. And so we learn to enjoy each other's company. Mm -hmm. And then we realize that, I mean, it's not like I've chosen to be with him, so let me just make do, or let me just make the best out of it. But I mean, I actually like his company, and he actually likes you my company. You still do, after 12 years? Yes, we do, we do, mm. we do, we do. I mean, okay. we do, yeah. How do you, because I think one of the things you said <coughs> was keep dating. How do you do that? I mean, it's, it's to find your, yourself in there. You know, for example, when, when we go for shopping, um, you know, I just don't tag along because I want to make it happy. But I want to find my role in there and, and what is also fulfilling to me. Mm. And so when, when we go in there, I'm not, I'm not just, of course, I'm keeping an eye of, okay, the... The, the labels. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the cost, <laughs> the, the, our bill is rising, you know. Yeah, of course, but that, that for me is not just the, the only thing. More mm. importantly, to, 
give her options, make inputs. So, oh, um, out of these three, I think you should consider this. Or what okay. do you think? You know, so that at the end of the day, I'm, I'm part of the uh, of it and not okay. just tagging along as it were. So, okay. Yeah. There are people who say marry your best friend. You, I know that you guys were on the things we do for love uh, exactly. set. That's where you actually met. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, were you friends then? Are you best friends now? <laughs> I mean, well, it started off as the you know just part of the team. It was a f more like a family thing, and we're colleagues then. Um, and so, but uh, of course, when we got to campus, when we met then, uh, friendship you know, began, and and so that's where. It, it took off. Um, so right now, we're yeah. the, the best of friends. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. We, weren't, we weren't before because of you know ups and downs. Still, you know, but we're still, but yeah. we're still learning to yeah. you know know each other. We're still getting to know each yeah. other. So one of the mm -hmm. things you know, like just uh, Google Ajete Anan mm -hmm. and wife, and one of the things that almost every story would add is the fact that it was after seven years of marriage that yeah. you got your your. Your son, yeah. uh, who's now about four? Yes, he's four. Okay, so, uh, and then you said you, you, you had to deal with a lot of things, things that coming from places, precious coming from places that you didn't even, even expect. Yeah, right. I'd like to hear from Elon because I'm not sure I've heard you on okay. that. Okay. Um, how was it particularly for you? Um, for me, um, initially it was, okay, we're waiting for a year after we got married. And um, then after a year, we started trying. So we got married in 2007. Then we waited for a year, so that was 2008. Then we started trying a couple of months down the line. He got um, admission to a school in South Africa, and he had to go. And so, I mean, I was like, OK, is it going to be that um, we're not going to see each other so much, so it's going to be difficult. So we spent a bit of time. I went there and a few times. He came back um, during holidays, etc. And then it still wasn't happening. And I started to get a bit nervous because then, OK, what is it? So we started going to the hospitals. We went to so many hospitals, so so many gynees. It was just getting so stressful. And um, I, the thing is, there wasn't any one thing that came up like that said that this is it. Mm. This is the cause of you know, your infertility. Mm. Because sometimes one doctor would say something, and then another doctor would say, actually, yeah, this is there, but it's not um, an impediment, mm. you know. So I had a lot of procedures. I had um, so many things just to, you know, check if I was. And it just turned out that um, it just wasn't happening. So it was frustrating. And for seven years. Very, very frustrating, yes. and. Um, luckily, what other people um, have spoken about, about like what um, the man's family would do, etc. Yeah. I've never had any such, never once did anybody in my husband's family ask me, okay. why is this not happening? No, never. But from within your own family? Yes, yes, there was pressure. A little uh -huh. bit, a little bit. I mean, not in a bad way, but okay. just more like concern, you know, what's happening. Yeah, and I think the most difficult thing f was from people who were not family. Okay. Because um, they, you know, would see us and pass us the comments, um, you know, hey, you people, you know, what's Enjoy life and about now. And oh, oh, oh. It starts like that <laughs> and then later on, they, when they realize that, okay, it's been actually more than just two years or three years, then they start saying things like, we're praying for you and, um, you know, we go to someone's wedding or engagement and they say, you people are next or outdooring and you people are next, you people are next, I mean, God will do it. Um, I think it all comes from a good place, but sometimes it's it's just a you don't need it yeah, because you you know you're going through your own you're going through your own battles you're mm -hmm. going through your own emotions and yeah. and uh, I guess I guess it's just that culture sometimes yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. but four years ago all changed mm -hmm. and then was it anything in particular that you did maybe somebody's watching us and you might want to give a few tips um, a combination of things prayer. Um, New doctor, um, new like investigations, new suggestions, etc. I don't think we would go into too much detail, yeah. but mm -hmm. then I mean, eventually it happened. I don't think there was one particular thing that caused, okay. you know, that that made it successful. I think it was just time, and mm. that's that's it. And yeah, when I found out I was pregnant, I was scared. I was I wasn't excited. Why were you scared? I was, you thought you were going because to because I lost a couple before mm. and. Then I was like, is, is it going to be the same? Mm. How's, how's this going to be? I was extremely, so my pressure was going up. I was all, you know, very, very jittery. And I was really sensitive not to. I was careful. I didn't want anybody to know about it. But unfortunately, I started showing really early. 
and mm. then it all just you know and then the media picked it up and started getting very um insensitive all over ah. again yeah 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 but i think the media picked it up maybe around the sixth month probably, probably around the sixth month i think we went for um i, I think it was national course wedding yeah yes yeah. and then sure. that's sure. when somebody saw and took took it to the media and that, yeah. that, but that also brought uh, some kind of pressure on you. Yeah, I was upset. <laughs> I was really upset when, because I mm. mean, then people from all over the world, meet from I mean, school people yeah. had gone outside the country. Yeah. Were all sending me messages, and and I was hoping it would be a little private. But of course, if I wanted it to be private, I shouldn't have gone to a wedding. So well, otherwise, <laughs> you, then you should then have gone alone, I not with have, him, or I, or, yeah. or I not gone at all. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I guess I mean I guess I should have been ready for it, but it was just mm. hard. So yeah, but then it went well. Okay. What is that one thing that he did as husband during that that period that you that you think um, supported you or was good support? You want him to answer? <laughs> uh, you're the one they're asking. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, was that one thing he did? That yeah. I mean, I think he was just there. He was there. <coughs> he was yeah. He was there. He was excited. He was happy. Looking mm -hmm. forward to having. His son, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you, what were your fears? She had some fears, she shared, uh, as a father, Before, knowing that during. that was not... During. During. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not too far from what she, she has expressed. I, for me, I, I just wanted to have a successful, you know, process. Um, there's a fear that what if, what if, you know, this doesn't happen. Um, or their complications, you know, as, as previously. And so th that was the fear then. And, and now everybody knows about it. And, you know, if, if it doesn't work out and everybody's going to say, oh, it didn't work out and all that, I'm going to go through that period again. So it was, it was something that even though I was hopeful and, and confident that it would work, you know, you, you keep having these thoughts and it really made me very unstable. Um, but I internalized all of these. Did you ever blame her? Uh, at some point, I mean, I don't know, because the child was not Ever. coming. No. Because usually we hear men say, oh, it is yeah. not them, it's always the woman. No, 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 nothing at all. Okay. Not, and it didn't even cross my mind for a second. Did you also have internal pressures in terms of your family? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay, maybe that helped. Was, yeah. I yeah. mean, as you said, we, we rather had, um, like, you know, from people who were not family and so, Occasionally, you have somebody approach you um, who has a solution to getting your wife pregnant, um, and so they give you portions and stuff. And um, do it secretly behind her. Don't let her know. And, you know, those those in itself were were precious, precious in a way. You know, because you're out, people are out there and thinking for you, and and they give you options. They don't want to take it. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know. So yeah, those yeah. were the times. But here we are, twelve years. Yep. And you're going to be renewing your vows at the Joy Beauty and Bridal Fair. I thought it was supposed to be a secret. Oh, was, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so is it tomorrow? Like, are we all invited to that? I, I, I didn't attend your wedding 12 years ago, so this is an opportunity for me to be there. You, <laughs> if, if you're yeah, I guess. It's, it's, it's the news. <laughs> so, yes. You're invited. How is that feeling like? Because you've done this 12 years. I don't years, even know. And then you're doing like it again. I don't even know. For it's me, it's an inspiration. Seriously. Really? Yeah, because, oh. Charlie, the marriage thing, you get to a certain yes, point a and it's like, you A friend of ours was joking <laughs> about this and he said, I can't believe I just he's going to get tied down <coughs> a second time with the same woman. Yeah, I was like, you'll hear from him soon. <laughs> okay, are you but, sure you want to yeah. do this the second time? Third, fourth, fifth, <laughs> probably, if I have life. Forever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean... It Are is we just lucky, maybe? I don't know. No, you're not. You I went think, on I it. think that yeah. right from the start, I mean, I, I, I told him there were times when I felt, was this a, was this a mistake? Mm -hmm. Should we really have gotten married, you know? Mm -hmm. So from the start, it wasn't like, it wasn't yeah. that perfect. I told Adam on the um, yeah. um, Home Affairs on home Saturday affairs. morning that, I mean, I wasn't in love at the beginning. It wasn't like, you know, this is it and this is forever. I felt like I like this guy, I respect him, I admire him. He's excellent at what he does. I'm inspired by him. And so let's give it a shot. Along the line, I felt like turning him back. And I've told him <laughs> a couple of times. Yeah. I don't know if he ever felt that way because he doesn't really vocalize a lot of things, but he probably did maybe when I was nagging a lot of times. <laughs> but I think, I think that um, it's, it's just been like, 
I, I can't believe we are here and yeah. we are like this. Yeah. Because even in the first few years, it was difficult for me to even go out with him. Because I felt like a stranger in his space. In mm. you know, would go out for a premiere and everybody else has attention and I have to just wait for them. And I was good with that. I had a friend um, who told me that when he's taking selfies with his fans, join them. And I'm like, I wasn't invited. I mean, they want to take a selfie with an actor. I'm not an actress. Uh, maybe I used to be some years back for fun. But so why would I, you know, get crash? I mean, until I'm invited. Yeah. And people felt like you should, you should, you should be assertive. You know, let mm. them know that I'm the madam. I'm like, I already know that. I don't have, you know, to push people around yeah. to feel that way. So I felt uncomfortable. And he mm. too was a little more conscious of, you know, um, being good to his fans then because he felt like, you know, this is home. We we'll sort yeah. out our issues when I'll we go with, I'll so go I used to get home very with you hurt. Anyway. I used to get very hurt and, yeah. you know, because I'm like, I don't feel like I belong, you know, but I mean, eventually he started to grow and learn and he made me feel very welcome in this space and now yeah. we go out together a lot and have fun a lot. Sometimes I don't want to go and he says, if you don't, if you don't go, I won't go. <laughs> and he'll put his clothes down and he'll be <laughs> throwing tantrums like a toddler uh, until I agree to go. <laughs> until I agree to go <laughs> and then, yeah, so we have, I mean, we've grown. Yeah. We've grown. So what are your expectations? Uh, the fair opens tomorrow. It's on until Sunday. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be one of those fairy tales. Um, yeah. I just have yeah. this picture, this thing, you know, uh, where at the end of this, you know, those fairy tale books, uh, everything. It Is it half yeah. racing right now? Not yet. It hasn't even dawned on us yet. Know, yeah, I guess so. No. You know, it's just <laughs> so relaxed. I guess because we're um, not really doing so much of like the nitty gritty detail yeah. planning and yeah. like we did when Adam is doing the planning. Those times, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. amazing okay. Adam. Yes, right. <laughs> and okay. uh, and the whole team, yeah. and Adam Ophelia, everybody yeah. they are they are yeah. all on it. So we are not really doing so much. Yeah. We just okay. talk and then we agree on things. All right. Yes, yeah, so I'll come and witness. So we're going to be guests as well. Yeah, you're not changing your mind, right? Sorry? You're not changing your mind. No. The second time. No. Ah, there are people waiting. Uh. You may know there are people waiting. Well, thank you so no. much oh, thank uh, you for too. sharing thank a bit you. of yourselves thank with you. us. And I hope that uh, a lot of us will learn the lessons that you've learned uh, throughout thank the you. marriage. Thank we're you. waiting for the next 12 lessons from the next 12 years. Amen. I, I will be watching. Amen. Yeah. Thank so you. see you tomorrow at the Accountability Conference Center. Thank you. You're invited to the Joy, Beauty and Bridal Fair. It opens tomorrow, Thursday. Please be there at the Accra International Conference Center. Stay with us. We have a conversation with DBS Industries Limited here on the show.